Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics. And in this video, I'm going to talk about reflection of light and I'm talking about the law of reflection. And it has something to do with reflections like this. You see here the mountains and you see that they have reflected in the water and you see that they are still in the same shape. You can still recognize the mountains in it and that has to do with the law of reflection. So what's the law of reflection? If you have a surface and you have a light ray coming uh, onto the surface, also known as the incident or the incoming uh, ray, then it will be reflected. And there is a certain rule to it. There's a certain law to it. To determine the reflection, you first have to determine the normal. The normal is a, a line that helps you with the reflection um, and it's always perpendicular to the surface. So it's like this with an angle of 90 degree. You always have to first draw that one. Now we measure the angle between the incident ray and the normal and uh, we measure it. And in this case, it's 40 degree. If this one is 40 degree, that means that the reflected ray has also an angle of 40 degrees. So here, the same angle of 40 degree will be visible. And now we can draw the reflected ray. And it would look like this. So the reflected lay, ray sorry, has the same uh, angle here as the incident ray. And that's the law of reflection. That says that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Also in short, the angle uh, of incident equal the angle of reflection. So that's the law of reflection. So every incidental ray, sorry, incident ray, you first have to draw the normal, which is perpendicular with the angle of 90 degrees with the surface. Then you have to measure the angle here. You have the same angle here, and then you can draw the reflected ray. Now there's two types of reflection, and it depends on the texture of the reflecting surface. If you have a smooth surface like this, and you have multiple rays coming uh, onto the smooth surface in the same uh, angle, then they will all have the same normal, as you can see, because the, every time the normal has an, a 90 degree angle with the smooth surface, and the smooth surface is uh, in the same direction, so all these normals are equal, so all the reflected rays will be equal. So all the rays here, which came in, will all re reflect in the same way. This is it, what's happening when a mirror or with water, when you can see the image, because the light rays are not scattered, you can see still the image as it was before it was reflected. On a rough surface, for instance, your, uh, the wall of your room, um, the surface is not smooth like here, but it's rough. So there are different angles of the surface. Now, if the ray come in, comes in, they all have the same direction at the beginning. So the image, so it all will look the same. But now you can see that the normal has changed. Here, the normal has a 90 degrees on the, uh, on the surface. And here it's different because the surface has changed, because the surface is rough. So all the normals are in different directions, as you can see. That means that all the incident rays will be reflected differently because this angle here needs to be equal to the angle there. So this one will be reflected like this. This one will be reflected back. So as you can see, they will not go to the same direction. This one will also be reflected uh, in a different way. And as you can see, they are all reflected in different angles. That has to do with the fact that the surface is not smooth but rough. So all the normals are a little bit different depending where on the surface the uh, incident ray hits. This reflection here is called a specular reflection. And that, for instance, for a mirror, all the uh, light rays came in in a certain angle and they all leave in the same angle. So they all stay together. And uh, so uh, you, the image stays together. So that's why you can see images on this surface. Here you have a diffuse reflection. For instance, if you look at the wall, then you cannot see yourself in, uh, onto the wall uh, because all the uh, light rays from you are scattered. So it's diffuse. And so this is a diffuse uh, reflection and then you cannot see your own image in it. Now a few examples. We have a light source here. We have a ray from the light source coming onto this mirror and you are now able to uh, re draw the reflecting light ray. So you can take this over on a piece of paper uh, and you can try it for yourself. Um, first, you will have to draw the normal and the normal uh, it has a 90 degree with the surface. It's perpendicular. So first you have to draw, uh, draw that on the place where the light ray hit the mirror. Now you have to measure this angle, and this is for instance 22 degrees. So now you also know that this angle will also be 22 degrees, and now you can draw this line. So now you have the reflected uh, line, so the reflected ray. So now you know that the light ray who hits here will be reflected like this. Another example, a little bit more difficult. Now we have the same light source, but now there's no mirror. The only thing is that we know 
that here the light ray needs to go because the eye needs to see the light ray and we don't know if the mirror is orientated like this or like this or like this we have to determine exactly how the mirror is orientated so how do you think uh, that should be done well this is a little bit more difficult one uh, you have the ray light ray coming here uh, you don't know where the mirror is yeah well you know where it is you don't know how it's orientated but you do know the refracted light ray it has to go into the eye so you know these two light rays so now you can determine the angle of the mirror because in the middle of these two is the normal so between these two in the middle exactly in the middle is the normal if you have the normal then 90 degrees to the normal perpendicular to the normal we have the mirror so this is how the mirror is orientated so this is exactly how you can determine how the mirror is orientated if you have the two light rays, the, in, the, the incoming and the reflected light ray. That's it. I hope you now know how the law of reflection works and how you can draw with it. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by liking and of course subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.